All right, what is up? Hello and welcome back. Um, I really thought that the next video would be like the official launching of the wedding photos and videos, but they are not done yet. I am forced to wait patiently. Um, but so couple updates. So the last few weeks, some really cool stuff has, has happened. Um, I've been in Austin, Texas, assisting at Gigafactory, Texas, uh, for the ramp up for like the past two weeks. And it's been what an amazing opportunity. I've learned so much. I've done things that I, I wouldn't have imagined myself able to be doing, you know, so soon I'm, I'm two years into my Tesla career. I know people say that, you know, Tesla time, you know, is different and it truly is. It feels like I've been working there for many, many more years than just two. But, you know, it is really, really challenging, but in all the good ways. I'm doing things, I'm working with people that work right alongside with Elon. Uh, Elon is a lot of times just feet away from me. I've seen his kids, I've, it just, the man truly is inspiring. He's there before most people and he leaves after most of us. So it's just really cool to work with someone that leads by example. But, um, so the past two weeks have been really cool. I've learned a ton. Um, you know, all of that's really good, but it has been challenging. You know, I just, Gene and I just got married and this, you know, this trip alone, two weeks was the original stint. Two weeks was a lot to be away from, you know, two people that are eager to be together. And, um, you know, we, you know, we, we both know that this is really important and she's been a trooper and she's been a trooper in more ways too, because my, my little adventure buddy Gatsby has been really sick and she's been taking him to the vet and, you know, dealing with all of that. And that's been very challenging. So I'm very, very grateful that she's there, you know, holding down the, the fort. Um, and, you know, with, when it rains, it pours and life throws challenges at you. And this trip is no, it, you know, it's no um, exemption. There's, you know, some of the most important things career-wise have been happening for me on this trip. You know, I mentioned working alongside Elon. This is something of dreams. You know, I got to work the shareholder meeting and really inspire some of those really cool people. I have a little memento that I'm very excited about, a little staff uh, Tesla badge. And it's just like, I mean, that's super nerdy, but I'm a nerd. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, all that stuff is so exciting, but life will challenge you, you know, and right now, you know, I'm away from my lady, my adventure buddy, you know, man's best friend, you know, little Gatsby is not doing well. And I mean, really in my home life, you know, my, my grandfather, someone who I've spent a lot of time with, I've, he taught me so much, so many lessons um, that have helped make me who I am today. He is not doing well and he hasn't been doing well but it sounds like it sounds like they're going to um, be taking him out of the hospital care and sending him home for hospice. And um, you know, I don't have all the details at the moment, but some of my family are trying to get him to be able to stay in the hospital for a few more weeks. That way, the family from you know other parts of the world can you know get their visas in time so that they could spend some time with him in his fi final moments but you know just 
it's just hard because, you know, these opportunities, you know, they come and, you know, things can be really bright in one aspect of your life and very dark in another. And there's no right or wrong way on how to, you know, deal with it. So I'm just kind of trying to wing it. Um, and I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing. I really want, you know, I'm, I'm planning for my family. And, you know, I, you know, I don't know if I should cancel this trip and jump on a plane and go back home, but I don't know. But I'm taking it day by day, doing the best that I can, um, learning every step of the way, staying humble, enjoying the moments, because I know that if, if the tables were turned, I would want my family to enjoy their moments. I don't want to slow them down. And, you know, that it, see, I, I, if it almost feels callous saying it, but I, like I said, I, I'm at loss right now. I don't really know what the right answer is, what to do. I do know that this is a big opportunity for me and is really setting a foundation for my career here at Tesla. But, you know, that's that's the that's the catch up. That's where I am right now. It is the it is Sunday, you know, August 7th, 2022. I just finished my second week of an amazing trip at work um, here in Gigafactory, Texas in Austin. And they've just asked me to stay for an additional two weeks. Gina, Gina is continuing to be a trooper and she knows that this is something that could be very big for us and our family that we are planning to start. It's not easy, but we're trying to, you know, figure out a way to schedule, you know, good, good amount of calls and good you know, amount of texting and, you know, just trying to be as there for each other as we can right now, because it's challenging on both ends. I know she has so much on her plate and, you know, I'm experiencing a bunch of new challenges, new, you know, job tasks that I've never done before, meetings with senior executives. This is all very new, um, but we've decided that this is the best opportunity for us. Uh, you know, and so one of the things that she asked, and this is something I want to do for myself as well, but like, I want to challenge myself these next two weeks to really get the most out of it. I want to not only, not only apply myself at Tesla and to do to give my very best, to be the greatest asset that I can be during my time at Tesla. But also I want to incorporate personal aspects in that. So, you know, I, I've listened to, you know, I have a lot of digital mentors and mentors in books, et cetera, et cetera. So I kind of devised this little two week challenge for myself and what, what it comprises of is kind of like the 101 videos before the wedding, you know, the daily vlogging, uh, that those videos served a purpose. They helped me get a little less camera shy and just get into the routine of just posting. I learned a lot about posting. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about what makes me uncomfortable and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So those videos served a purpose, but they didn't have a lot of direction. And for, you know, the 12 of you that were along for that journey, I applaud you and I don't understand why, but I really appreciate uh, that's 12 more people than I would have had otherwise. So to you all, 
to the dozen of you, not even a baker's dozen, but the dozen of you, I truly appreciate you know your support because that meant there was eyes. If it would have been a zero, I'd have been like, oh, well, no one saw it. I got away with it. But it really challenged me knowing that people were watching. I had to hit that, you know, submit video, you know, submit button every day, knowing that there was 12 people that would watch that. It's, you know, it's, it's a little challenging, but like I said, those videos served a purpose. You know, for these next two weeks, what I wanna do is I want to post a video a day, but with a little bit more direction. I want to share some of the habits that I've developed, you know, through these mentors that I've, you know, kept close to myself, you know, all through books or through YouTube videos. I want to show some of those daily practices coming from Southern California, you know, San Bernardino County. It's a pretty rough area. I've had guns pulled on me, had knives pulled on me. I've been jumped. I've retaliated. <laughs> You know, there's there's a lot of darkness in my past, you know, and there wasn't a lot of opportunity to, you know, for guidance. You know, I had my father who truly was amazing and taught me so much. And I had family members that taught me so much. You know, I'm very grateful for my family unit. But when it comes to, you know, advice on, you know, some of these business aspects or entrepreneurial aspects, I, I really didn't know where to start or buying a home. It, it was very challenging and I, I was very confused for a long time and it took me a while to find, you know, the resources that I did and I'm so grateful that I did. So I wanna share some of these, you know, these individuals, you know, I'll say right here, right now, one of my, one of the most influential people, you know, digitally that I've encountered is Tim Ferriss. You know, years ago, I started watching Tim Ferriss or listening to his podcast. I, I think I listened to a few of them. And then, uh, you know, the completionist side of me, super nerdy, was like, oh, I want to start with episode one. I think he was on episode like 200 and something at the time. So I started with episode one. I was like, I'll catch him. I'll catch them and you know, then I'll listen to them every week as they come out. He is on like episode 610 right now and I still have not caught him. I'm closer than I ever have. I'm like less than probably 30 videos away from, probably even less than that. I would say maybe even like 20 videos away from him. This is the closest I've ever been. Um, but so much of my daily routine, so much of my physique, so much of the money that I have come from, you know, the, the titans, the people that he has surrounded himself with. And he shared this wealth of knowledge and that wealth of knowledge has changed my life. And, you know, if there's, if even if this video just gets one person to listen to Tim Ferriss, it's done its job. He has truly changed my life. And there are many, you know, I'm gonna probably try to share five. Gary, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk is another one, uh, a little less PC, <laughs> but j just honest. He'll tell you where you're messing up. He'll let you know. Gary V is a, an amazing human, so, positive you know like i said he's very rough around the edges but it's all positive he's telling the truth uh gary v is an amazing you know human uh i'm trying to think let's see who you know i've i've admired walt disney for a long time and i'm a big advocate of the walt disney institute uh, there's a book called Be Our Guest that is, that that is like the, it's like a window into Walt Disney's mind and it shows just how different he was. 
And that has really, I've applied a lot of those techniques to my approach at the, you know, at restaurants, at Tesla, at anywhere, like just life in general. And it's helped me out tremendously. Um, let's see, Matt Diavella. I know Matt, Matt would probably be surprised at that, but Matt Diavella and his YouTube channel, I, I started following him pretty early on and I really liked the progression. Um, his videos served me a little less now, but in the beginning he was very, he, he was full of experiments. He was constantly trying stuff like cold showers and, you know, he exposed me to uh, Wim Hof and Wim Hof's uh, breathing techniques and just so many different aspects like that, that, you know, I, I loved the challenges and, you know, and I try to really incorporate that into my life now. I try to incorporate, you know, just different challenges. I'll do the cold showers and, you know, if I like things, I'll adopt them and I'll keep them in my daily practice. Um, and then if I had to pick, it's just, you know, these are just off the top of my head. Um, I, I, would, I would have to say Tony Robbins. Uh, Tony Robbins, you know, when I was younger, I saw him on Shallow How and, you know, I just kind of knew him as a, as a, kind of like a motivational, like TV ad, you know, guy. I didn't pay much attention, but, you know, some of his conversations with Tim Ferriss, and then I started reading the books that he wrote, they're amazing. And this man has been so consistent with his message when you apply some of the techniques, like one that I practice every day, is get your, like change your state. And so he does, you know, he talks about how before, you know, a meeting or anything like that, he'll be in his car just, you know, screaming and, and shouting, super excited at the top of his lungs. And, you know, it changes his state. So then when he goes and he has to perform, he's ready. So, you know, the, like Tony Robbins truly is amazing, you know, and then his book with, you know, covering Ray Dalio, I believe it's called Principles, such an insight. He's sharing knowledge that in the past was reserved only for the elite, you know, and I think people realize now that rising water raises all ships and, you know, I think people are starting to shift from a scarcity mindset to a mindset of abundance. You know, if I succeed, it doesn't take away from you. And if you succeed, it doesn't take away from me. I love this, you know, and I, I wanna see more of this in this world. And, you know, let's see, over these next two weeks, I'm gonna try, they're, they're, they're challenging days because I normally work three days a week and then four days a week and then three days a week and then four days a week. But here in, in Austin, I'm working 12 hour shifts, five days a week. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I have my normal, like, like everyone else, the normal weekends. And that's very different for me because, um, I mean, even before Tesla, I was working in restaurants. So I always had weird schedules. So this is just very, it's very challenging. They're long days, but I love what I'm doing and I feel good. There's a gym here on site. Um, there's food here on site. Uh, there's literally just so much fun stuff to do everywhere. I've been flying my drone, uh, just trying to, you know, document this experience. But yeah, this is way longer than I wanted it to be and I apologize. And it's not very, it's not the funnest video, but I'm super excited about the next couple weeks. Um, I'm hoping that I could post something that resonates with at least one of you out there. Um, thank you for watching. And I will post those wedding videos. Gina was absolutely beautiful. It rained, it like, and that's something I wanted. Um, it rained even though the forecast was no rain. I'll go into depth in that, you know, with, with that story. Um, 
when I get the wedding videos and wedding photography. But uh, it was truly an amazing day and I'll post all that stuff as soon as I get it. Um, but uh, till then, let's, let's enjoy these uh, two weeks in Austin, all right? All right, peace and love.